Welcome to wild Ethiopia, guardians of the highlands. High above the Horn of Africa, where the clouds kiss jagged cliffs, lies a hidden realm, the Ethiopian highlands. A land ancient, wild, and filled with creatures found nowhere else on earth. Ethiopia is home to more endemic species than any other country in Africa. In these isolated plateaus, evolution crafted beings like no other. Meet the Ethiopian wolf. Slender, red-coated, and elegant. Africa's most endangered carnivore, and the world's rarest wild dog. Unlike its savage cousins, this predator is a patient hunter. It feeds almost solely on rodents, using stealth and silence above strength. Though they hunt alone, Ethiopian wolves are never alone. Packs of up to a dozen members cooperate to protect their territory and raise young. Travel north, and you'll hear them, chattering, grunting, grooming. These are gelatas, the last of the grazing primates. Their bright red chest patch signals health and dominance, a bleeding heart that tells stories of love, rank, and survival. Gelatas eat grass. Lots of it. They spend nearly 12 hours a day on all fours, not hunting, not foraging, just grazing. They don't just eat in silence. Gelatas have one of the richest vocal vocabularies in the primate world, a symphony of grunts, moans, and coos. Only in the Simeon Mountains lives the Walia Ibex, a cliff dancer with curved horns and a taste for the steepest heights. In Bale's misty forests, the elusive mountain Nyala treads lightly. Shy and regal, it is the silent guardian of these woodlands. But paradise is shrinking. As human settlements rise, habitat falls. Disease from domestic dogs threatens the wolves. Overgrazing squeezes the gelatas. Yet not all is lost. Ethiopian scientists, park rangers, and global conservationists are fighting back, with knowledge, compassion, and courage. The future lies in young hands, learning that their land is not only their home, but the last refuge for wonders the world cannot afford to lose. Wild Ethiopia is more than a landscape. It is a last frontier of life, evolution, and coexistence. To protect it is not just a national duty, it is a global one. If this story moved you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support nature documentaries that matter.